Prince of the Killer Bees. Riverdale's got a bee problem, a really big bee problem. If you find yourself doing the terror two-step to music that sounds like a scream, then you know firsthand the dance of the Killer Bees. This, Archie. I didn't know where else to turn. Ethel, if you've got a weird mystery, then I'm your man. Well, it's a weirdie, all right. My entire field of sunflowers has been sucked dry of nectar and depollinated overnight. Is that possible? If every bee in my hive worked overtime drinking nectar, they couldn't pull it off in a month, much less overnight. Your hive? Well, sure, I'm the president of the Riverdale Beekeeper Club. And this field of flowers belongs to my bees. But how are my babies supposed to make their honey without any nectar? Don't worry, Ethel. I don't know what happened to your flowers, but I'm going to find out. of the missing pollen coming along. Let me answer your question with another question. Have you seen any angry bees lately? You mean aside from the bee? I heard that. <sighs> Principal Weatherby doesn't count. I'm talking about killer bees. Killer bees? Here in Riverdale? I don't know, but according to my research, some strains of killer bees are voracious nectar farmers. If there were killer bees in Riverdale, that could explain what happened to Big Ethel's flowers. Veronica, Betty, I don't suppose either of you have seen any strange bee activity lately? No, not that I can think of. We've been too busy getting ready for the prom. Is it time for the prom already? Oh, and I thought killer bees were scary. Oh, Archikins, <sighs> we'll be the cutest couple at the prom. Not so fast, Veronica. Who says Archie's going with you? The prom queen gets to pick whoever she wants to be her king. The students don't vote until the end of the day. What makes you so sure you'll be the winner? Well, duh. We're talking prom queen here. Who do you think everyone is going to vote for? The most beautiful and popular girl at school? Or you? Ooh. Well, I know one person who's going to vote for me. Isn't that right, Archie? Whoa. Well, I, Don't uh... be silly. He's voting for me. Right, Archikins? Dream on. He's voting for me. That's what you think. Ha, you wish he's mine. Whoa. Mine, uh, mine, uh, mine, uh, mine. Uh, mine. Uh, whoa, girls, slow down. If I have to vote for anybody, I think this year I'll vote for Ethel. Big Ethel? Sure, she's a good person with a big heart. Archie, she can't be prom queen. She's not popular enough. Well, maybe there should be more to being the prom queen than just beauty and popularity. Bite your tongue. <clears throat> I guess this means I'll just have to win without your vote. Hmm. Traitor. I think I messed up again, but I'm not sure how. Don't feel bad. When dealing with girls, the best any boy can hope for is confused frustration.
Come on, we've got to talk to Ethel. More girls? Will he never learn? Who would have thought a prom would involve so much paperwork? Let's see, I, uh, 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 Can't get any work done with those noisy planes buzzing overhead. Must be a new flight path over the school. Wow! Hi, Jughead! What brings you here? Uh, uh, Archie wanted to talk to you. Oh! Ah. Did you find out what happened to my nectar? I was exploring the possibility of a secret government conspiracy to build a giant allergy bomb, but now I'm starting to wonder if it isn't a rogue swarm of killer bees. Hmm. Well, if a rogue swarm did do this, they'd need a hive within farming distance of the field. And that would mean... Well, heck! That would mean the hive is probably somewhere on campus. First the prom, now killer bees. This might be a good time to transfer out of Riverdale. Say, that reminds me, Ethel. Have you ever thought of running for this year's prom queen? What? Me? Oh, I don't think so. I'm not popular enough to be prom queen. So what? You're the president of the Beekeeper Club. Did that happen because you were popular? No, I guess not. That's right. It happened because you're the best person in the club. Well, heck, I'm the only person in the club. Besides, why would I want to be prom queen anyway? Because the prom queen gets to pick whoever she wants to be her king. <gasps> gonna dance with Jughead! Oh, brother. Woo! Ah. <laughs> Where's the fire? Oopsie. Sorry about that. The smoke calms my bees so I can collect their honey. What's left of it anyway? Relax, Ethel. You just take care of your prom queen campaign and we'll get to the bottom of this bee mystery. When you vote for prom queen, vote for Betty Cooper. Ah! Hey! Vote for Annika Lodge, natural royalty. Hey! Prom queen! Get your prom queen here! Beware the killer bees! The killer bees are here! Jughead Jones, huh? what's the meaning of this? Trying to get out the word, sir. What word? Bees, Mr. B. Dangerous bees. Archie thought we should... Andrews, eh? I should have known. Wherever there's trouble, there's Archie... Hmm. Pollen. And it leads to, of course, the old garden shed. A perfect place to build a hive. Ah! Principal Weatherby! What's all this nonsense Jughead is spouting about killer bees? It's not nonsense. They're here, in Riverdale. This shed. In this? Hmm. No, no! It's too dangerous! We need to call the police and the fire department! And the National Guard! And the National... Oh, what kind of fool do you take me for? This little prank of yours has gone far enough! Prank? That's right, prank. You and I know perfectly well that there are no killer bees in Riverdale. And certainly none in this... You see that? You got me all worked up over some silly flies. Flies? Well, of course they're flies. It's a garden shed. They're buzzing around the fertilizer. Now then, we're trying to put on a prom this evening, so I don't want to hear any more of this killer bee nonsense. But I don't understand it. The pollen led right to the shed. Archie. Yes, Mr. Weatherby. Hmm. 
Like that. Stupid mascot, you nearly scared me half to death. What are you doing here anyway? I thought we weren't playing the Burbank Bees until hmm, next week. Hello? Yoo-hoo! <sighs> Weirdo. Ah! Archie! Are you okay? We heard you scream. Oh, I'm fine. I was just startled by that stupid mascot. Mascot? What mascot? Oh, you know, the giant bee. Didn't you see him leaving? Uh, no. Figures. He was a sneaky little creep. Great costume, though. Say, Veronica, when you say bee, are you sure it was really a mascot? Yeah, right. As opposed to what? A giant six-foot killer bee? Please. Huh? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to win an election. Traitor. Six-foot killer bees. You don't seriously think that... Uh, Archie? Over here. What's that? More pollen. Do you know what this means? That you seriously do think there are... Not just killer bees in Riverdale, but giant, six-foot-tall killer bees? Exactly. I get it. It all makes sense now. You do? It does? Oh, yes, because six-foot-tall bee people would explain why there is honey all over my desk! Honey? That's right, honey. As if you didn't know, left behind by giant bees? What kind of idiot do you think I am? Well, I... And before you answer that, I want you to consider the fact that your little prank has gotten you suspended. Uh, suspended? That goes for the both of you. But... No buts. If I hear one more word about this ridiculous bee nonsense, I'll have you suspended for the rest of the year. Understood? Uh... Now, when I get back, I want this vandalism cleaned up, and I want you off school property until next week. And that means no prom, too. This is awful. We've got monster bees on the loose, and we get suspended for trying to save the school. On the bright side, we just got a get out of prom free card. If I never see honey again, it will be too soon. Yeah, this stuff is a mess. But it is pretty tasty. But one thing still bugs me, Jughead. Just how did all that honey get on the principal's desk? Ew. Not very funny. It wasn't me. Look! What? The vents! Are you sure this is a good idea? The hive is in the attic. It has to be. But what will you do if you find it? Shouldn't we be calling the army? Not until we're absolutely sure. Otherwise, Weatherby will do more than just suspend us. Huh? Whoa! Honey!
Archie? Archie, are you all... <laughs> well, Weatherby was right. Looks like we are suspended from the ceiling. We sure have gotten into a sticky situation. Uh-oh, here they come. Silence, or my venom will render you permanently silent. Despite rumors of some Weatherby leading the humans, further investigation revealed he is just a drone like the rest. Excellent. Without any royalty to lead them, they should be easy enough to enslave for the greater good of this, our new hive. There is one looming threat. Yes? We seem to have arrived at a time of transition. They are about to choose their new queen. All the better. Your Majesty. Let them declare their new queen. Invest their support and help in her. Then I will... Sting the pathetic creature into submission before all her subjects. Never again will a human dare to challenge Queen and Tamala. When you go in that booth, vote for Betty. Remember to vote for Annika. Huh? Peanuts! Get your peanuts! And don't forget to elect Ethel! Ow! Hey, watch it! Oops! Sorry! Well, you've got to give her credit for trying. Why would Archie choose her to be queen over us? She's not beautiful or popular. Ow! Or coordinated. Sorry! I feel sorry for her. She'll never win. And if she did, she'd never know how to handle being a queen. Shh, here she comes. Hi, Betty. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Hi Ethel. Ethel. I just wanted to say it's been tough trying to keep up with you two. And even if I don't win, it was an honor running your race. Oh, well, thank you, Ethel. Uh, yeah. Here's hoping that the best girl wins. Why am I starting to feel like a grade A heel? Because maybe Archie was right. Maybe being the best candidate has nothing to do with looks or popularity. <laughs> Where is Archie anyway? I don't know, but with or without Archie, there's something we need to do. Now the time we've all been waiting for, the announcement of the prom queen. And the winner is... What? Huh? Oh, oh, I see. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears both Betty Cooper and Veronica Lodge have dropped out of the running, which means the winner by default is... Ethel Muggs. Me? Congratulations, Ethel. You're our new prom queen. Wow. She's just a teenager. Whoa! Oh, dear. No one asked you, drone. We try to do her a favor and end up giving her a death sentence. You're not enslaving my prom while I'm queen. <gasps> All I know is that this prom isn't over until I get to dance with my king. That's what you think. It will be just like falling asleep. Funny, 
I was going to say the same thing. Boop, what's happening? No be worth its weight and pollen can stay awake under a good blast of smoke. You have defeated our queen. We are yours to command. Ah! Way to go, Ethel. Now if you can just get us down from up here. Ethel told her new subjects to take their queen and never return to civilization again. And of course, she finally got that dance with Jughead. He didn't want to do it, but how could he refuse after she saved his life and everyone else's? Betty and Veronica realize that a person's worth goes much deeper than looks and popularity. And of course, if you're looking for a prom queen that's got a big heart and can handle her bees, then I've got just the one you're looking for in a little town called Riverdale. Cookie jar!